talk about some things. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be all about self care, and I am so excited to just indulge. So if this is your first time clicking on my video, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below so you don't miss another upload. So today's video is sponsored by Emanate Essentials. It is a black owned, woman owned brand. Skincare, body care, crystals, fragrances, um, a little bit of everything. I love her brand. So I'm gonna be introducing y'all to a few products. And some of these I have used before and some will be my first time today. So we're just gonna get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is set the mood and we're gonna use the Emanate Essentials. This is the Arc Lighter. Very, very pretty. And this is one of her tea light candles, the extra large tea light candles that she has. I'll make sure I put the scent down below. <sighs> All right, y'all. So we just lit her tea light candle with our arc lighter. The lighter is rechargeable and it's a whole vibe. So I'm going to put this right up here. Set the mood in here, you know what I'm saying? Getting some self care vibes. I didn't wash my face or anything yet. We're gonna do that after we get in the shower. But our shower products we're gonna be using today, we're gonna be using two different shower products. This is her botanical soap, her plum botanical soap. So it comes in a packet like this. But the bar looks like this, and it smells really good. Definitely smells clean, but you can definitely smell the plum in here. So we're going to be getting into it with that. And my favorite, this is how I even found her brand. This is the Luxe Body Scrub. Oh, it smells really good. I love how her body scrub is just so soft. It just feels amazing on the skin. So <laughs> we about to get into it. So let's start the shower. So I'm going to start off with the Eco Jumbo Body Poof. It is handmade and it is 100% cotton, so it's supposed to be more effective and long lasting. So I used this with the Plum Botanical Soap. I rubbed it in real good and then I started to use the poof. Um, as you can see, it wasn't as many suds. It doesn't suds up as much. You definitely can see some suds. This poof definitely does eat up a lot of the product, so it's hard to see a lot of lather. So I just kind of went back with my original poof that I use on a daily and you can see that the soap was really nice I had a nice lather it felt really really good on my skin so her botanical bars are handmade soaps that can last a long time as long as you keep them dry and they have great ingredients like shea butter olive oil castor oil different essential oils botanical extracts and more so this bar felt moisturizing and cleansing to my skin so I tried the jumbo poof once again but it kind of gave me the same results so I just moved on to the Lux body scrub which is my one of my favorite scrubs is absolutely amazing and just it feels so good on your skin it is not rough at all but it definitely does exfoliate your skin it makes your skin feel super soft easy to move around and you don't need a lot a little bit goes a long way and I just use it on my chest my back and my legs so once I got off the shower I used the tea drip facial oil and I actually used it on my body um, I love the way this rubbed on my body. I've been really into like body oils recently and that felt super good. And I used the vanilla chai feel good body cream on top of that. And this combination felt so good, so moisturizing and smelled amazing. And it just made my skin feel super soft. Body cream is made with shea butter and mixed with different essential oils. And it comes in a lot of different scents like lavender luxe, vanilla, lemongrass, citrus bay pear and yuzu and a few others so i use this combination on my whole body and i felt amazing all right y'all i am out the shower first of all this um body cream vanilla chai first of all it smells good in here but when you put it on your body it just smells different and it smells so good but i love the consistency it's like the mix of a lotion and a body butter kind of but it's just so silky it makes your skin feel so soft that was amazing i love that and the combination this is technically a facial oil but i don't use facial oils on my on my face like that i don't really use facial oils so i put this on my body that combination 
Period. Beautiful. Um, the can the botanical bar I really liked. I enjoyed. Um, I don't really use bar soaps like that. I just started getting back to it. So, so yeah, it's pretty good if you like bar soaps. I'm really a body wash type of girl. But I do the bar soap and then I do my scrub and then I do a body wash. So that was good. The poof. I didn't really like it only because I think it's just so dense that it eats up all your product. Like as y'all can see. It's like it was taking all the soap from my bar and from my um, actual soap. I wanted to see maybe if I used a body wash, it would be different. But it just ate too much of my product. So I don't know if I, I highly doubt I will use that again. And of course, my scrub, amazing. I, I smell amazing right now. But I need to clean this face. So I have actually used this next product before and I used it more as a mask. This um, is her Foaming Grains Golden Turmeric. But I'm actually going to use it as like a face scrub this time. That's what it's really actually meant for. Um, so you kind of make it into a paste. And I made it into a paste um, the last time in like a bowl. But I'm just going to make it into a paste in my hand. So I'm going to wet my face. I'm going to add a little bit of the foaming greens. Okay, I'm going to add like, ooh, like this much. And then I'm going to add some water to my hand. You're just making it into a paste so you can see that's what the paste is going to look like and I'm just going to use this as my actual cleanser that's what it's actually intended for and I thought I read the directions and I just knew I did it right the first time and I mean technically uh, it works still fine as a mask but it's really a cleanser so yeah and this actually feels really nice. It doesn't feel stripping, but it, it has like a little bit. It's kind of like, it's like a very nice scrub, I would say, like a very fine scrub. A little bit more water. It doesn't feel bad at all. So I'm gonna wash this off. So this is what my face looks like. And now we're gonna rinse this off. Y'all, that was actually really, really nice. I don't even need to use, I mean, you don't need to use another cleanser after, but depending on how I clean my face, if I was going to, but my face feels nice and clean. It doesn't feel stripped, which I like. But it feels clean, like, that felt really good. I liked it. I liked it as a mask too, but like, that felt really good. So I'm just gonna dry my face. There might be still a little bit of yellow, yeah. Um, I would just be careful what type of, I don't really care about this rag, but if you do, you know, just be careful. That was very nice. I like that. All right, I would've showed y'all the toner but um yeah about that so this is her clean toner y'all um yeah I clearly finished it there's literally a corner in here if I'm even able to like get this corner out yeah I really enjoyed this toner yeah that didn't do that did absolutely nothing to my face just now um, I really enjoyed this toner. I love how lightweight it is. It doesn't irritate my face. Um, it puts a little bit of moisture back to my face, but it also cleans the extra dirt. Um, definitely enjoy that toner, but I don't have no more. But I would definitely recommend, so check that out on her page as well. You could also use the facial oil, but like I said, I don't really use facial oil on because I feel like it clogs my pores. So if I do use it, it's literally every once in a while. Maybe like once a month. Or maybe like two or three times a month, but never more than that. Oh, my face feels so soft. Okay, foaming grains. Wow, I really like that. So I just put my vitamin C serum on, which is not emanate, but I just want to finish my skincare real quick. Wow, y'all, that foaming grains really kind of smoothed out my skin. This is kind of like crazy. Oh my god, I gotta use that at least once a week. It like smoothed out my skin like I don't have no texture. And not that I always do, sometimes I do. 
but if I had texture, it's usually right here on my forehead, but it's so smooth. Oh, doesn't it just feel so nice once you finish your self-care? Like, I feel so good right now. My face is nice and clean. My body, can you see how my body is nice and shined up? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nice and soft. It smells good. It feels good. Like, I am just here for it. So, I will put all the information, all the products I use down below. Y'all, please go try these products. All the stuff that I showed y'all today, it is amazing. Um, my top, pro I'm going to say my top three. <sighs> Damn, that's kind of hard. Okay. Foaming Greens, definitely. Her scrub and this body cream. But I will put the toner out there, but it's gone. So, top four. Those are my, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I feel good and I smell good. I need to go out. You know what I'm saying? I need to be up under somebody right now. Like so they could just be like, wow, what did you what did you use? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Eminate Essentials. Thank you, Shay, for sponsoring this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.